Hi there, my name is Danielle Bogey, and my education is in Environmental Engineering Technology Water Resources. I was born and raised in Chute Harbor, um, moved out for the university, and then spent the next 10 years in Cape Breton. Um, when I first heard about this, we're nervous. <laughs> when I first heard about this, I was scared of change. I was scared of what's going to happen to everything I love about why I grabbed up Sheet Harbor, Mushadoon, this, this area. And I know I'm not directly affected, like everybody that lives in Mushadoon, but I am one of the boomers, so I do care about yes. Um, but I look at a place like Lewisburg and Cape Breton, it's a small community, and I love going there. I went there weekly. And they are a small community, just like ours, loved each other. But they had the fortress. And the fortress, even though only gave a handful of jobs, and it didn't affect their waters, but they are a fishing community. It brought in so many people, and it keeps the town alive. And looking at Cape Breton and how it's dying, it's a big eye opener of what could be. Um, so I guess knowing that my environmental background, and this will bring forth environmental risk assessments, we'll talk to Nova Scotia environment and that. I guess I just hope that everybody just comes in with an open mind and I guess gives a little hope that after 10 years in Cape Breton, I have now moved home and I'd love to see more in this. I'd love to see people my age be involved in the community more. I love telling people I'm from Sheet Harbor. And um, I've talked to so many people that are like, oh, you're from Sheet Harbor. I've heard about this beluga whale sanctuary. And they're excited for it. And I know, that, I know it doesn't affect my livelihood, but my hope is just to hear the next step, to go for the next step. Just hear it out. Thank you. I am a lifetime resident of Sheep Harbor. Um, I have two passions in this world, and children and whales are it. Um, I moved back to the community because I wanted to inspire the children in this community to be whatever they chose to be. Um, as a child, I did. I had a dream of being a marine biologist that felt a whale, an orca whale, was going to live in. East River as I grew, <laughs> realized I can't live in fresh water, um, but I have spent my life truly understanding whales and the research long before the whale sanctuary um, was even thought of. I followed Keiko and the research around how that living in complete freedom is not possible, so I do understand that the science you're speaking to is valid. It is not just trying to convince me as a community member um, that you want to pull the rug and then convince us that and giving us false, because I do know um, from my research before, I followed the whale sanctuary before Nova Scotia, Mushroom was an option. Um, I appreciate what Mushroom would be giving my the community them. Um, I know it's more than what I would be giving. I too have roots in Mushaboom. The place I feel most at peace and at home is in Mushaboom. Um, even though I'm raised in Sheet Harbor, my grandmother was from Mushaboom, and when I return to her home place, that is where I feel at all and most comfortable in this world. Um, I want my children and the children that I work with every day to feel inspired. I witnessed a group of 20 children become so enthralled by pieces of the ocean that I brought to them to view. They were, inqui they were inquisitive five-year-olds wandering, exploring, and the love turned into children starting to bring in things from the ocean for more children to came. That inspiration came from a fisherman in Mushroom. So I recognize what you were giving, but I would love 
that we could just move forward because there are concerns, but I would love for us to go to the next step, allow the proper studies to be completed and questions to be answered so that we can continue to work as a group to support this project. Question, there's a question as to where you work. At the school. At the school. And let me just mention before you start, a number of you have said you didn't get enough time. Certainly there's an opportunity, I think there will be two more people in line for you to come back up and continue or make other questions or comments. <laughs> Go ahead, sir. Thank you. Thank you.